Welcome to part three. Let's see, where do we leave off? We left off where we did a nice valve job on a stock port. And then we relieved the chamber below it there. And I think uh, this one though had a 15 as well, while the other one just had the 30. Finished with the 30. Anyhow, um, in this video, I'm going to show you some things you can do to improve the flow on the intake port. The last one I talked about how I did another video already, I ported it, yada yada. Um, had some decent numbers for that one. You know, about 200 by 400 lift already. I'd like to see some better 300 numbers though. But basically, if you look at this, there's no way to do this with a video, it's really hard. Okay. If you see this right here, don't knock that down like, make it disappear, just blend it down. You want to keep some of that on your short turn. So a good place to start is the valve guide. Get that profiled. Get the extra material out of the way. So when you do the valve guide, Just going to kind of bring it in a little bit on each side, kind of go, you know, contour around the shape of it. And then just kind of blend this up as like a fin, kind of flatten it. Don't leave a sharp corner up at the top in there and there by the guide. You want to work it with a smaller one, for sure. But you want to end up like this, and an easy way to do it is to follow it up with one of these. And the difference is there. You can use these for a long time because they kind of only get better. <laughs> so keep that roof round and contoured as you get to the valve guide and taper it.
wanted to show you real quick all you got to do with the short turn for now <laughs> but even then you probably that's all you really need to do is this right here That's about it. What I'm doing now is just lightly blending the bowl. And then pretty much that's probably all I'll do right off the seat. Angles on the short turn. I just smooth it over a little. Everything else will be up there further back at the top. But I will flow test it now and see what that does as our next step. Okay, so we're going to get a flow test going here on this 302 head after I just lightly blended the valve job to the bowl. Didn't do any like big bowl work or anything like that. Just a light blend and a light blend on the valve job to the short turn as well. That's it. Um, it's already, I know it's too small, but the Venturi that is. But let's go ahead and flow test it to see what kind of effect it would have after just doing the guide and then just lightly blending it. Here we go. As you can see, as you can see, that puppy went turbulent. Bowl's not big enough, throat's too small. So that's the next place to work. But it did pick up quite a bit. Here we go again. One through 400 lift. Uh, there's some gains there. Uh, 400 got bigger. It's almost uh, 
or it needs to be almost so the next thing we'll do is we'll do uh, some bulwark and uh, get that venturi up to the size it needs to be which is somewhere around Somewhere around an inch and a half throat, a little bigger than that actually. The bowl a little bigger than that even. A little above an inch and a half. Anyways, we'll get on that next. <laughs> 